Good morning, this is Pastor Grant. And this morning, for encouragement, I wanna invite you to take a walk with me along this path that I found that's uh, behind our house. During these days of isolation, I found a lot of joy in taking walks. So this morning, I wanna invite you to come along and walk with me. I also wanna invite you to interact uh, there's many of you guys have a way to make comments whether you're on Facebook or Instagram uh, YouTube uh, some of you don't if you're watching this on the church website probably not but uh, this is we're becoming a virtual community an online community and this is not just one way I would love to hear from you and specifically I'll tell you how at the end but uh, the genesis of this encouragement comes from an online post of one of my friends but let me tell you first we're in Psalm 119 and I'm not gonna tell you the whole thing because I don't know it all in my head and I'm walking I, I can't look down at my Bible um, but all of Psalm 119 is about the Word of God and how the psalmist loves the Word of God uh, one of my friends posted last week he said very simply, I don't know what's true anymore. And he wasn't talking about the faith or about God because he has a deep and abiding trust in God. He's talking about the fact that as we go through this and we're wanting good information, we see something posted one day, a news post, and the same day you might see something that says the exact opposite. And whether it is one issue or another it can be really frustrating so along with isolation and the other things that we're dealing with we also have the frustration of not knowing what's true in these days i can tell you that my my focus and calling as a pastor has never been more passionately than to point people to the word of god we love the word of god we're people of the word. And yet it's so easy to become distracted and take our eyes off of the sure things that the Bible says. Psalm 119, 105 says, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That's why I'm coming out here along this path that started in my office and I was gonna show you my Bibles that I've had from different eras of my life, and my high school Bible and my seminary Bible, and how much they mean to me, and how much uh, just seeing the words on the page, the promises of God in the page are an encouragement to me. And then to hear and to be reminded of those things that I know are true. But here I am walking along this path, it's fully lit by the sun, but if it was dark, and I've done this before, I might walk straight into a tree. Without the light of God's word, that happens, whether we stumble on a root, walk into a tree, even fall off the path altogether. But I wanna encourage you guys, that in times when we, frankly, don't know what's true, because we're not experts, and reading this newspaper article or that, we're not trusting this source or that just on their name and reputation is a red herring and it draws us away, oftentimes passionately away from what God tells us securely in scripture. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I wanna encourage us as a people to simply tune out those voices. Tune out the, the clatter and the clamor of people who are trying to be heard. And listen to the voice of God in His Word, which is a true and a sure foundation. Now, I'd like to hear your thoughts, but not uh, just in the ideas of what we should do or not. But I'd love in the comments below if you would share with all of us some of your favorite scriptures, some scriptures that you've held on to 
during these days of COVID and isolation. It can be from the Psalms. It doesn't have to be from the Psalms. But I want, uh, I want to speak life into social media in one way. But I also want to hear from you guys and encourage you guys to push into the Word of God. That's my encouragement for you today. I hope that we'll tune out a lot of the voices that are drawing us away and focus on the Word of God. God bless you.